Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here is the hands-on experience number 8, the first part on the spectral Doppler. We have a patient, 50 years old male, uh, admitted with the chest pain and card, uh, the shock, blood pressure below 90. They request stat echo and you go and get these uh, views. Based on this view, what is the diagnosis? And based on that, the cardiac surgeon uh, decided to put impella based on the other clinical finding and everything uh, on the echo. Why they put it impella? Why this patient need impella? Second, uh, for the patient, beside of the impeller that daily we use, uh, we do a limited echo study, but there is a specific indication for this patient that need impel, uh, echocardiography uh, daily. What is that? And th third one, why is very important Doppler study, color and uh, continuous Doppler on this case is very important and critical. Here we have uh, scanning a patient in apical 3 and apical 5. Based on the finding on this right side belong to each of them on the left side. This one belongs to apical 3 and this apical 5. Which one you choose for uh, calculating or uh, grading uh, regurgitation, apical tree and this Doppler and measurement, or this one and why? Which one is more correct? Yeah, another patient. If we assume that our study is full and our measurement is correct, based on these two findings, what patient has or uh, what uh, disorder patient has just based on these two Doppler? What those are par uh, five parameters here, each of them represent of what and why. How do you interpret each of them? And uh, third one, as you can see, the patient has regurgitation too, but uh, not clear uh, Doppler. For quantification of the AI in this case, if we cannot get correct, uh, good view for the PISA, venous contractor, and you can see on Doppler is not clear. How we can quantify what measurement should we should do extra of the full study on this case and quanti uh, quantity of the AI? Exactly, you have to mention uh, what study you do. Here we have another case, patient has a COVID and with history of the bioprosthetic valve, as you can see here, those uh, frame and house of the valve is a little, uh, can be seen. A patient uh, has been intubated because of the uh, respiratory problem and uh, severe COVID. Uh, but the doctor want to make sure based on the physical exam, there is not any viral, especially aortic stenosis on the valve. You go and scanning based on, because of the position and situation of the patient and intubation and all those stuff, ventilator. The best windows you can get it is uh, two view, apical three of access a little and apical five of access. And you get it apical 3D Doppler, you increasing, you do whatever, optimizing, it doesn't help you. In apical 5, even you try, it show looks not bad, almost 20 degree, but still you can see uh, aorta and blood flow goes there. But you get this Doppler. And before you jump into the TEE that has better window, and uh, how you can get it strong Doppler on this uh, patient before you do T. I should, I have to mention that we tried the PEDOF2 and PEDOF uh, give us the same 
in the both uh, three actual the subcostal apical and right parasternal not a strong envelope what option we have uh, for uh, rule outing aortic stenosis before we go do T if we can patient the condition of the patient and all those stuff didn't let uh, do T you are scanning a patient and on tricuspid you get a uh, such Doppler. When you see something like that, what should you suspicious about uh, that Doppler? Here, in another case, you are scanning a patient with the significant uh, TR, and then you do you want to go to do color Doppler on the IVC and hepatic vein. Based on the color Doppler, what type of the, based on the color Doppler? what type of the uh, parsway Doppler you will expect to see on the middle hepatic vein parsway Doppler. You are scanning a patient, uh, there are two view, four chamber and two chamber, and we get the Doppler in both of them, this pattern. What patient has exactly what type and why? You are doing pulmonary vein Doppler in apical tree, and you get this one. Which of those is spot correct measurement for S and D? You are doing uh, tissue Doppler or medial annulus. You get this Doppler. Where is where are those measurements? C prime, E prime, and A prime. Uh, exactly where is your measurement especially for E prime here we have a patient with PDA and we do this two study at least one of them uh, we have to do it uh, and what is this study tell you this one and this one and based on the finding on Doppler uh, what grade of the most probably patient what grade of the PDA patient has now uh, let's see the answer 